In this video, I'll show you how to sign up step-by-step -step for a Microsoft 365 business account and how to choose the right plan so you don't overpay. These first steps are the same whether you're just starting your business or you're trying to migrate from Google Workspace. My name is Bogdan Sperny, founder of Apex One Tech. Welcome, all my content is free to you. All I ask is that you subscribe and smash the like button. Let's go. So step one is to find the correct subscription. So make sure this will be linked in the description, how to get here. You can also just search for this on the web. So you want to be in the four business, this is called Microsoft 365. Okay, you have the business basic, standard, and premium, essentially. That's kind of your three options here. So quickly, I'll give you kind of the rundown. So a lot of you can start with the business basic, uh, but I would say that's not the best one. You can read about this here and you'll see the apps you get. The main thing to note here is that you only get the web and mobile apps. Okay, so you don't get the desktop app. You can obviously access it from Chrome or whichever web browser you have and use the application like that. And you can also go and purchase you know, a license for like, uh, that's called like Office 2021 or something like that. You can go and purchase that from Microsoft separately, just like one user license. So you pay this monthly or annually, right? Like $6 per user. And in order to have the desktop app, you would have to go separately to purchase like the desktop versions of these Office apps, right? That, you know, like Outlook, Word, Excel, all that good stuff. Okay, so that's the main thing here. And that can get a little bit funky because you'll have to use a separate email address to get that and put the license in and things like that. That's why I would recommend the business standard. So it's about twice as much. Again, it's typically cheaper when you go annually. Uh, it kind of depends. Sometimes they have promos for this stuff, but you get actual desktop apps and you can use this up to five devices okay, per user. So their mobile phone, iPad, obviously desktop, maybe they have a Mac at home too. They can use that. Also, the apps that you have here are always updated with the latest things. So for example, there's like editor and copilot things coming out. It's kind of like Grammarly for the Microsoft apps here. And if you just purchase like the 2021 version, you're stuck with that version forever, essentially, unless you upgrade, you purchase another one. But with this, you always have the latest versions of these desktop apps. So that's why I would recommend this one of the main reasons. And the last one is business premium, significantly more. Most of you will not need this. If you do, you basically will know that you need this, okay? But Microsoft does have a helpful tool for you to choose the right business plan. So I'll link this in the description as well. So you can take this assessment, you know, let's say you have five employees and, you know, maybe, maybe it's not even listed here. I'm another field. Maybe you just use PC, right? So you can go through this quickly and see what it tells you which one to get. So here, maybe we make marketing, internet connection, basically never, always online. Sure, we have, let's say we don't have any IT. Sure. I mean, so once you start checking off these ones, it might start offer to you business premium, just letting you know. They're actually not trying to upsell you. Microsoft even tells you, you know, business basic, you have a basic business, you're good to go unless you really want the latest desktop apps. Okay. So for this example, we'll go ahead and go with business basic, right? We'll even get our own custom email address, all that good stuff. So we can go ahead for a free trial and you just choose, you know, yourself and the number of employees. Um, this example, I'll just do two. So it's just a trial, but you still do need to put in your payment information. If you have a current email address, your work one, you can put that in. If you don't, just put in your personal email address. That's fine. Okay, so this one, let's click next, is going to check if you have a business account. So I put this email address in on purpose uh, because I know I have a personal Microsoft account with it. And some of you might have that already that you're using. So this will be a good example that what's best to do is create a new account with this and then later you'll delete your old one. And I'll probably have a video on that uh, in the description or let me know in the comments if you need that. So let's create a new account instead. So here, just put in your information. Okay, and in this example, uh, I'm, I'm making this for a domain that we have called dianachprint.com, so I'll show you that later. But you basically put in your company name and most likely what domain name you have, company size. You don't want to check mark this unless you just want to receive advertising from Microsoft. Okay, so they're going to give you a call or text to verify your identity. So just click send a verification code. Okay, and they might not like that number because that's a uh, Google Voice number, so let's try something else. So yes, yeah, so you definitely want to use your actual, like a real mobile phone that you have. It's probably the best case scenario here. And then click verify. Okay, so here your username. Usually, you know, you can start out with just your first name, 
maybe last name initial and then the domain name again, your company name or the domain that you'll later add on to this if you have one or the one that you'll purchase. It doesn't really matter, just so you know that this is temporary, okay? This domain name here is temporary. Let's click save on that, create a password. Okay, and then click next. Okay, so it's just summarizing that we're getting a trial with two and it's letting you know if you are getting a trial is maximum 25, otherwise you need to purchase right away. And in either case, you still need to add a payment method. You just need to cancel before it renews if you're not sure about this. So just go ahead, fill this in. Okay, and then after you got your billing info, click save. And then one more time, it's going to have you review and confirm and then you click start trial. <laughs> now, if everything went through well, you should be able to go to admin.microsoft.com. And when you sign in, you should see the account you made here. So this is your admin account, your global admin, your temporary email here. So your name, typically your domain dot on Microsoft.com. And you should see that your license, whichever business plan you got. And then finally, to actually access everything you purchase, you can go to office.com and it should sign you in since you signed into the admin account. Okay, and it gives you a little splash screen here. Cool, you can walk through this to see how to navigate. So first thing, if you got the apps, you can go ahead and install all the Microsoft 365 apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, whatever else. It'll show you what you bought. And some quick tips here. So you can always go to office.com. There's a shortcut to your Outlook, OneDrive, SharePoint Teams, right? That's usually all included with your basic. And that's just how you get to it. Okay, and the next steps will depend on whether you're migrating from Google Workspace or if you're just starting from scratch. If you're starting from scratch, I mean, I'll have both options linked in the description, but in general, you're going to just add users, add your domain or purchase a domain if you need to. And if you're migrating, it's a little bit different. You also add users first, but adding the domain, migrating email, that takes a little bit more time. So check out the videos linked in the description. And if this was helpful to you, please like the video, ask any questions you have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, take care.